What's up, y'all? Now, I get a lot of hate mail, of course. You know why. But they always say the most hypocritical things. You always negative. You always talk about the bad. Why don't you talk about the good? When I talk about the good, you're never around. <laughs> you don't come around and hear about the good. And then when you hear about the good, you talk bad. So that's why we need to talk about the bad stuff and put it out in the light so that people will understand this criminal sh shouldn't be going on. And just glossing over comments that's on everybody's pages. Chavez Jr. has now been ranked the 168 number one contender for the WBC, which most easily stripped Andre Ward for no damn reason. But you see the reason. <laughs> just give him the belt. I mean, what 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 are you doing? Just give him the belt. Whoever got the WBC belt, Saki Obika, strip him. Give it to Chavez Jr. Just get, just do it. It's nothing less criminal than what you're doing already. Manny Pacquiao, no one contender for the WBC, even though he isn't fighting WBC fighters. <laughs> He's fighting guys that shoot. He just lost one fight, and then he just lost two fights in a row for the WBO. Then just lost, I mean, just beat Brandon Rios, who wasn't even a welterweight. So let's make him number one contender for the WBC. Is there even a system? If it is, I would love to know the system. What is the ranking system? It's, it's ridiculous. Please give me the one for Chavez Jr. We don't even know if this guy going to make 168. He didn't make 168 for his last fight. So we might make pay some more money, y'all. Oh, wow. Let's do it at seventy nine. I, I just can't go. <laughs> I mean, we don't know what's gonna happen with him. Oh my gosh, it's this is boxing. This is the part of boxing that shames us, that makes like people like UFC and Dana White run their mouth and talk stuff about our our sport because we got idiots that's involved in it like the WBC who come along and do stupidity oh oh my god it's, I, it's, it's a loss for words because it's like how much more criminal things do they need to do Adrian Braun is still the 135 champion he's not going back to 135 he should have been stripped Omar Figueroa should be the champion. Is that, that's just it. He's not going back down to 35. So why is he still holding the belt? And and Omar Figueroa is the interim. What is that even about? It's like, come on, man. This dude, he, he's had, what, two defenses? Well, one defense that since he won the belt, and he still is the 135 champion? I know it's about money, but sometimes common sense and rules have to come into play. And as of right now, it is damaging the sport of boxing. It's lying to the fans who don't know anything. And it's wrong. And I'm out.